I'm Steve for This Up With Cars, and today I'm back with my Fiat 850. Last time the crankcase was filling up with fuel, so today I want to check and make sure that the car is still okay, and then start working on the electrical problems so that I can actually drive it. Let's check the oil and see how that's doing. It's probably still pretty clear because I haven't been able to drive the car yet because the charging system isn't working. Looks like the oil is right there, just above the minimum mark. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So that looks good. We do not have fuel in the crankcase. Let's move on to the charging system. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I hate batteries and the battery on this car was not any good anymore. So I have already replaced it with an ultra cap. So here is the same excess batteries ultra capacitor that I normally use, as well as an onboard battery charger. The cord can just stick out of the cover over here so that when I store the car, I can just plug it into an extension cord. The charger turns on and it keeps the ultra cap charged up. Alternatively, if I've come back from a drive and I want to store the car, I've also installed a battery cutoff switch right here. All of this still fits underneath the battery cover. So the cover can go in place. My cord sticks out there and tighten the cover down, put the carpet back on and everything is hidden under there. And I never have to worry about a bad battery again. The ultra capacitor is not going to ever leak any battery acid because there isn't any in it. And besides plugging this into the wall every once in a while, this is 100% maintenance free. I have the vehicle running and again, our ignition light is on, which means our charging system is not working. I do have the lights on. And I have a voltmeter connected. As you can see, the voltage is continuously going down. Because the alternator is not charging. I do have my positive lead connected directly to the alternator. The charging system of the Fiat 850 consists of three major components. The alternator, the regulator, and the regulator relay. Any of these parts could cause the charging system not to work. The regulator relay does have a fuse on it. And since there's a fuse, that's probably the best place to start. Fuse is this brown thing right here. Let's get that disconnected. This doesn't seem to come apart, so I guess we can't open it up and replace the fuse inside there. I also don't know how big this fuse is, but let's check for continuity and see if this was working. I switched to my multimeter to ohms. And if there is continuity, the multimeter will beep. So we'll connect this to each end. And nothing. So it looks like our fuse in here is blown, which is kind of a problem because I don't know how big this fuse is. So if I want to put a new one in line here, I'm just going to have to guess for now. This is my lead that I usually use for testing electrical problems. Has two alligator clips on each end and a circuit breaker in the middle. This is a 25 amp circuit breaker. When this is tripped, it will open the circuit for a while, allowing you to disconnect it, let everything cool down, and then it will reset itself. So I don't have to replace a fuse here all the time. Let's connect this up and see if the charging system works then. I'll try to get the rubber ends of the alligator clips covering as much as I can so that these don't short on anything. And then let's connect the voltmeter back up to the alternator. Get our positive there. We can get ground here at the regulator. I do have the battery disconnected right now. So I'll connect that and then you should see the voltage come on. 
Okay, the engine is running and the voltage is going up. If I give it some throttle, we really see the voltage go up. The wires don't feel like they're getting hot. Looks like our voltage is continuing to go up and that is going to be a problem. So I wonder if there's a problem with the regulator and that's what blew the fuse. You can hear the engine change there. The alternator was drawing a lot of power from the engine. So right now it appears that the fuse was doing its job. There was a problem with the regulator which tripped the fuse and prevented damage from happening to everything else. I do have a new solid state regulator. This has a series of transistors inside of it, whereas this just has a mechanical relay. So this will be far more reliable. The relay, you will have to open it up and clean the contacts every once in a while. I have had this one open. It looks totally clean inside. Doesn't look like there's any problems with it. It might be able to be adjusted, but let's try the solid state relay first and see if the charging system works correctly then. Unfortunately, this connector for the original relay will not connect into the bottom of the solid state unit. The connector is just too big. So I'm going to use a jumper wire to go in between those and also a jumper wire to ground this unit. My black wire is going to be the ground. My red wire is going to be the regulator connector. There's my ground. I think everything is connected so we can start it up and try it again. Check our voltage. The ultra capacitor is charged to 15.6 volts. That's just fine for the ultra cap. Let's leave the signal for the alternator disconnected until I get the engine started. Okay, alternator is not running. We can see our voltage is going down. Let's connect up the alternator. So far, it doesn't look like it's charging. Let's turn on the headlights to draw that down some. Our headlights are bringing down the voltage. It appears this is either incompatible with what we've got or it's just not working. So let's see if we can fix the original re regulator. This original relay is very simple. It's a mechanical device. It just opens and closes a circuit right here at the top and it uses a certain voltage to trigger on and off. I have two Fiat 850 shop manuals. Neither of them tell me how to adjust the regulator for the system. This book talks about the regulator for a generator car. This one mentions if your battery is overcharging to adjust the regulator, but it doesn't mention how in all of the book. A quick internet search didn't yield anything either other than everybody is installing the solid state regulators, which for some reason is not working. So let's see if we can figure this out on our own. Let's try to figure out what makes this car charge. When I connect these two together, let's watch what happens there. Okay, the car is charging right now. So that means if we push this away, the car stops charging. So at that position, with this and this touching, the car is charging. When it's touching the other side, it is not charging. If you watch the voltmeter, 
If I push it in, it stops charging, let it out, it's charging. So now I, at least I know which way I need to adjust it. And I'm thinking possibly I need this spring to be less strong. I've been fiddling around with the regulator for about five minutes now. I do have the lights on so that I can tell quickly if it's charging or discharging. And I have it staying about 14 and a half volts when I rev it up. Fourteen point eight is as high as it got, and I'm pretty happy with this. My headlight should be nice and bright. Everything should be happy. So I think I'm going to put the regulator cover back on now and call it good there. The regulator is adjusted, but I still need to replace the fuse that connected these two wires together. I'm going to use a modern fuse holder. That way, if the fuse blows, I can put a new one in here easily. So let's put a couple connectors on. I don't know the value of this original resistor. There are no numbers on it. It just says Lima. So I'm going to start with what I think is a conservative 15 amps. Put that fuse there. Put the cap on it. I'll put this in place. We'll fire the car up and test everything one last time. I'm going to use a little bit of tape to hold those insulators in place. I'll tuck it back down out of the way. Let's fire the car up and test it one last time. Alternator's charging. Rev it up. Fourteen point four volts. I'm happy with that. Let's call this done. I think that was a productive day. We found out why the battery was ruined. It was being overcharged. And then when the fuse blew, it wasn't being charged at all. And I think we found out why the fuse blew. The regulator was charging the battery to too high of a voltage. And I think now I have all of those problems sorted, including replacing the battery with an ultra capacitor. I'm sure there will be plenty more work to do on this Fiat 850 Sport Spider, but for now, I want to take it out and drive it. So if you want to see more videos like that, comment below and click subscribe.